just like kind of like graze on it all day long. I like lentil better, but I, I didn't have any lentils. All I had left was split pea. But I just ordered two five-pound bags of lentils today off the Amazon. I know I don't look like I just eat lentils, but I'm trying. Cutting out the pizza. I walked eight miles the last two days. Eight miles. Including, even though it's Kansas, there's a hill here in Lawrence that's probably the steepest hill I've ever seen. I mean, ever. I walked up that sucker and I almost died. <laughs> Uh, what sucks about these is they, they put them in the wrong uh, Let's see if I do this. I actually play a little bit today, Kev. But the, the problem is it's it's so windy. Certain you know, certain times here. I just like ah, this wind is just ruining this. You know, the ball's like whoa! Well, not much you can do. Alright, here we go. Picture time. this way and I'll hold it way back here. Alright, picture number one looks like Dominique Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins. Nice bold signature. Yeah, that's not bad. We're in no rush now. It's the last break. Decent cert, fanatics. Well, we already have one from last time. Ichi Blow. And I assure you, it's not the same one. <laughs> Ichiro's signature stays pretty consistent, though. I will give him that. 30th player to reach 3,000 hits. Pretty cool stat. Ichi Blow. would be C.D. Lamb, Oklahoma uniform, C.D. Lamb Chop, also with a fanatic cert. Who do, you, who do you have, Sam? I don't know who Petey is, but I'll root for you, because I'm going to know when you say it. <laughs> Petey. All right, Petey. Pete Rose? Pete Rose? We didn't hit Pete Rose last night. Hard to believe 40, 40 without Pete Rose. <laughs> A lot of Fanatics ones here. This is very nice. <laughs> he got the gold Band-Aid on his face. Or something. Sean, I believe it's Sean Kemp. Not, let's see, this one's got a stick. Yep, Sean Kemp dunking on Elijah Wan.
Well, we got a hockey player, which means I'll probably I'll probably need help. We got any hockey guys in the room? It's an LA King, but I know it's not Wayne Gretzky. So my guesses would be Anzi Kopitar, although I'm not sure. It's a Steiner. Does it say name on it? Oh, Bernie Nichols. Bernie <laughs> Bernie Nichols? Bernie Nichols was a young an older guy. Kind of young. Yeah, I guess I see Bernie Nichols there. Huh. All right. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Wood Nichols. one we had last night too and I I also had to ask the consensus was Paul Coffey I don't know if anybody wants to confirm Paul Coffey but as his hat says looks like his hat says Stanley probably Stanley Cup this one does not have who it is on the back because it's just a Beckett cert of course I can always pick it up uh, all right you too, Tweety. I hope you had a lovely day. Oh, we got a specialty. Had four of these last night. Five signatures for the for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Bob Borkowski, Ransom Jackson, Fred Kipp, Andy Pafko, 1952 Tops card number one, and Ed Roebuck. All right. R room to get a few more on there if anybody's still alive. Legacy of the Brooklyn Dodgers. That spot, by the way, would have included... There's an L.A. Dodgers one, too. I think it includes both. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate that. It just doesn't look like Paul Coffey, the signature. It doesn't even look close. Of course, a lot of guys don't look. Who knows what they're really signing. Might be some kind of code for some shit. Oh, my God! I can't let, I can't let you see it. Congratulations, Sam. And that's actually a pretty neat 63 Rookie of the Year inscription. Certainly goes back to the early 70s, if not late 60s, on the uniform. The King of Autographs, Petey Rhodes. As Sam called him. Petey Meany. By the way, when you get your thing, it will be shipped in these boxes, so... Be on the lookout for that. And uh, still got a case to go. All right. Guy signed a lot of stuff before ever even being drafted. Travis Etienne. Sam was not that excited when Pete Rose finally hit. Probably went to come back and go, any Pete Rose? And nope. No, there he is. That's what happens half the time. People go, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, what'd you do? Go to the bathroom? Uh, I like that photo at least. I like that old tiny stuff. Jeez, this box looks like it's been used 12 times. Uh, you got a Pittsburgh Steeler Hall of Fame legend. I believe that is Jack Off Lambert. He always had a rock and grill. I mean, he was a hockey player. Hall of Fame 90. JSA start. 
All right, that's it for case one. Hmm, two guys think they're Pete Rose. Only one of these is Pete Rose, I'll tell you that. Maybe somebody had them last night. I'm sure I didn't have them listed twice. Uh, Pete Rose tonight is... Uh, Sam, I don't have you down as Pete Rose, buddy. I think it's Big Daddy F.E. Felix, right? Did you have Pete Rose last night, Sam? Yeah, I confirmed. Uh, let me see if that was you. Was that you yesterday, buddy? And then you thought the break was tonight? Yeah, Sam, you had him last night, my man. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very sorry about the mix-up or that. But we had the break both nights. <clears throat> Sorry, hang in there, buddy. Glad you're still here. Maybe Felix will sell it to you. All right, coaching the Chicago Bears there. Mike Ditka. He's like, I'm, that looks like Arabic. He's talking about. Hey, he's giving a finger like that, Ditka. No, it was last night, buddy. They're always they're always the same night. No, video will take place at eight forty Eastern Time Saturday, April third. Today is Sunday. There's the link that you had if you'd like to check it out. Nobody's uh, nobody's pulling any. No one's pulling the wool over your eyes. I, I promise you that. Last night's break is up on YouTube if you want to watch it. <clears throat> we didn't have PD last night. Well, it took 12 boxes, but we finally, we finally got a jockey. That iconic picture we had yesterday, too. Lafitte Pink High. Are you, a, are you a Reds fan, Sam? If you're a Reds fan, I'll find something, something for the Reds to send you. I always send out bonus stuff to everybody if they don't hit. Well, Sardi, you're not going to believe this. In a Lakers uniform, buddy. I don't think you got a whole lot of him in a Lakers uniform, do you? Who's that, Gary Payton? Gary Payton he's uh, hanging out with there? Mm. Very cool. It's a, it's a hardwood classics with a solid... PSA cert. Oh yeah, Sam. There never, never be any, never any BS here. Mm. 
Although, uh, this, this I did not do, Sardi. Uh, I'll put extra cardboard in there, but you may have to find a new one of these top loaders, as I certainly do not have any extras of them. Guess what? This time you have two. <laughs> I believe it's the same piece. The Brooklyn Dodgers taking up ten percent of the of the uh, print run. That's no, just something I do, Sam. I, I always send out stuff to everybody if they don't have. E eBay likes to see packages shipped, so I obliged them. Yeah, another duplicate from last night. Well, it's a pretty good one. Good old, good old gay rod cheating on J-Lo. Because he's just the biggest pig that ever lived, without question. I don't know, some kind of bizarre cert. I think it has something to do with Steiner, too. I know it's got a Steiner hologram on it. Five left. Five left. I get more of these for next week, too. Tell how much everybody loves them. I, I would have the best place here to hang these things. I have just, I just have like <laughs> blank walls. You know, hi. <laughs> Everywhere. Well, we got hockey. I think I know who that is. Am I right? I am right. I didn't say it, but I, I was pretty sure that that was Mark Ambrose Door, because his autograph I've at least seen before. You won the cup with the Devils uh, once upon a time with a, a fanatic, a fanatic shirt. Mark Ambrose Door. Hey now, Baba Baba Booy. Okay, another Steeler legend, Heinz Ward, Super Bowl MVP, 86, Super Bowl 30. Ten before L is forty. I am stupid. Saying there's no way that's Super Bowl fifteen, and that is a Spence cert, a JSA cert. Yeah, my breaks are always the same day, but I had this both days. I got I had eight cases of it. I got I got four left. So come back next week. Try again. on the checklist for the Atlanta Braves. That does not look exactly like his card autographs. Is this Ronald Acuna? Anybody confirm that? I'm not 100% sure because his, his uh, card autographs do not look exactly like that. And it's a Beckett cert, so obviously I can look it up. MLB hologram. I'm just going to say it's a Kuna, but 
I don't, I don't know. I'll have to check check let's see if there's any other any other brains. Alright, we're at number nineteen. Patriot, New England Patriot. Sorry, it is not Tom Brady. Thanks, fellas. It is Sony Michelle, parallel to the ground. His autograph, of course, I know very well. All sorts of fun proof over there. That was from the Super Bowl. I do remember him scoring against the Rams. Back to the start. All right, number 20, and we wrap it up. I like that Akuna then. I guess his autograph looks a little bit neater than it does on his cards. His cards are just two check marks. Kid. We got a kid for the last one. Tore it up in the combine or pro day or whatever the hell that crap is. Justin Fields. Not the best picture. Uh, unless it's supposed to look like that. Ohio State. Number one. And that's a Beckett cert. And there you have it, gang. That's our helmets tonight and our 16 by 20s. Congrats, Sardi. You're the only person in the room I know of. Oh, and Felix at the Pete Rose that I know hit it.